He is an alien in the system. That's why they tried to ban him. It is only when I have started to dig deep into our history that I have found that we are being ruled by a few people. These people have built up the system that we live in. This system, like schools, is designed to make complacent people. To work for the system. Andrew Tate has come on top without the help of the system. Which is mostly impossible. As all the top positions in the world have been occupied by a few families. It is only when I began to study the history of my own country that I found that it is a handful of families ruling for decades. And it is a no surprise that this is the case in the United States of America as well. So, the point is this. Andrew Tate has come on top due to the sheer acceptance of the masses. Now, I won't go back on my previous analysis about him, that his advice is mostly egoic. But I understand that no one gives an F about spirituality when they are being crushed by life. And the system of planet Earth has been designed by the select few to do exactly that. That is, control you psychologically so that you can never get into spirituality. So that you can never realize your true potential. This is the very reason that masculinity is under attack. Anything remotely masculine is being labeled toxic for a reason. The system despises strong men. As strong men have always revolted in history. Strong men are the last stand for humanity. Thus, if the system can somehow limit masculinity, they have the masses under their thumb. And what is worse than a masculine man? A spiritual man who understands and embodies divine masculinity. Now this is a man that is deaf to the system. So, to combat it, the rise of feminism that has nothing to do with female empowerment and everything to do with shaming and discouraging masculinity. And Andrew Tate with all his flaws, is a masculine man. And he is face to face with the system. He knows who they are. And they are trying to shut him down. Thus, he is an alien in this system of slave makers. As I ascend in spirituality, I am realizing how mind-controlled I was. And the more I see from the lens of freedom, the more restrictive this world becomes. But you need to take the advice of Andrew Tate skeptically. He is not right about everything. He is right about the matrix, but he also limits young men into the egoic ways. And true freedom is only in realizing who you are. That is what they don't want you to know. Because if you know who you are, you will never accept any sort of mind control. So, they lose their compliant workers. They do not want strong men and women who are spiritually awake and who think for themselves. I will uncover more of who these people are sometime in the future. But the solution lies only in knowledge and self-awareness. Andrew Tate knows the system in and out. And he knows how to play this game. So, I recommend everybody to follow his advice when it comes to playing the game of the system and beating it. I personally am learning how to deal with my finance and money from his teachings. He has cracked the code of the system. And he has made it despite being against the system. And one thing he talks about is that money in the bank is worthless. You must acquire assets to build up your wealth. As the system can print a bunch of money out of thin air and devalue all your money in the bank. I have recently learned it the hard way. So to counter it, Masterworks provides a great solution to increase your wealth in a market that is relatively out of the hands of the system. We need to diversify our wealth as much as possible. Be a rich nomad as Andrew says. And investing in high-value art is one of the best ways that you could do that. It is not mainstream. Thus, not monopolized to a great degree by the system. Masterworks allows you to invest in contemporary art by famous artists like Pablo Picasso and Banksy. The appreciation of modern art is beating even the S&P 500 that is the go-to of most people for investing. You can own a piece of high-value art that is a real hard asset, unlike money in the bank that depreciates every single day. And when the art is sold, you can net up to 32% in the case of this art piece called Mona Lisa by Banksy. Or 31.7% in case of this artwork by George Kondo, staring into space. You, you can even sell your share in masterwork secondary market if you no longer want it. Not everyone can buy contemporary art, but masterworks.io allows you to own it and keep it as it stacks up in appreciation. A very lucrative way to diversify and grow your wealth. Its appreciation is not conventional and beats the traditional go-to venues of investment like gold and real estate that are monopolized. It is a great way to acquire something of extremely high value that normally is not accessible to the masses. The link is in the pinned comment below, definitely check it out. It can help you become more diverse with your income, that is from now on my goal after learning from Andrew Tate. If you are pinned to a single job, you are controlled easily. 
But as a general good practice for investing, do your research before you proceed. So, you want this world? Follow Andrew Tate's advice. But this man has his fair share of problems. This is why, I won't go back on my previous analysis. That his advice can be a doubled-edged sword. As any egoic action is. And young men might end up causing more damage to themselves than doing good. Especially his relationship with women, and his point of view about women, is complicated. Feminine energy is as important as masculine. Remember, spirituality cannot be forced open with masculine energy. You will need feminine energy of emotions and feelings to understand the workings of the universe and spirituality. And if you think you can alone overthrow the system and claim your freedom with masculinity alone, then you are mistaken. This is why the system is pushing hard to turn women into men. To get rid of pure feminine energy as well. The more ambiguity the better. So that men and women are farthest from their spirituality and their energy. And can be good little mind-controlled workers. This is why, Andrew Tate's advice can backfire at times, if you have no spiritual ground to stand upon. Especially his assertion that the life for young men is hard. This is a limiting belief. Of all people, he should know that. Thus, young men need to be careful about what he says. He is fiery and speaks his mind. That is what I admire about him. But he can go overboard at times. The system likes it. Hence, they will use his narrative about women to further create separation among men and women. You see, the house always wins. If we are not careful. They can switch sides as well. But if you are spiritually strong, you can reject any mind games. Because you are aligned with your divinity and your energy, that is true to you. Not some indoctrinated ideas that have been planted by the system inside you. This is indeed a matrix as Andrew calls it. As he is face to face with it. And I am beginning to see that what he says is true on many levels. But we need to combat the system with knowledge of who we are. Trust me, that is the only thing that they don't want you to know. Because they know it. And they are using it to control you. They have occult knowledge that has been passed down to them from generations. This occult knowledge is what they want to hide from you. What is this knowledge? To put it simply, it explains our higher spiritual powers and what we are capable of. It explains how the human mind works and its capabilities. It explains our real origin. And what is really going on in this world. And the universe. The media is their biggest weapon to indoctrinate you and program you. This is why they banned Andrew Tate. Because he is programming you in the way they do not like. This system is everywhere, in every country. Hence, the Matrix. And the only thing that can stop it is for you to find the knowledge about yourself and your true origin. And who you really are. And why you are here. Success like Andrew Tate will be inevitable after it. And men need their masculinity. Now more than ever. Because it is the only real opposition against the mind control of the system. While women are our spiritual gateway to higher consciousness. We need women to tap into their divine femininity and open the portals of divine knowledge and love to flood into our lives. As women are naturally tuned into their bodies and emotions. While men stand against the system. And if you are a man who wants to take the top, then you can't do it without the system. Or you have to go rogue like Andrew. And blow up on social media. The only power Andrew Tate has is the support of the masses. Otherwise, the system has controlled many other amazing men who are doing the same work. This seems to me that the system wants to use Andrew Tate to create further divide of some sorts. As they say, if you can't beat them, join them. So, they could be doing just that with him. Thus, be vigilant. Your salvation lies within you. And in your true nature. Seek this knowledge and the system will crumble on its own. As it won't have the support of the complacent mind controlled humans. I know that my channel has been focusing on personal journey. And how to improve our personal lives and embrace our divinity. But now that my own life is set up in a way that I can have what I want, I see the system more and more. It is right there. And I am sure, if I keep on going up, which I do not have the wish to do so, I will come face to face with them. Just like Andrew Tate. The system doesn't care about you until you get to a certain level of threat. So, let's see when that day comes. For now, don't believe in anything you hear on the news. Media is their main weapon. Use your mind to validate the information you come across. And get aligned with your spirituality. Seek the knowledge of who you are without the lens of past and the indoctrinated information. Knowledge is true power. So, use it to open your eyes and see for yourself. You will come to know what is happening. 
And if you wish to live a happy peaceful life, you can. We can create our personal reality the way we like. And have that life. For me, I want to wake the asleep. Show them what they have inside. So that human race as a collective can reach the stars. As the name of this channel is Stellar Thoughts.